Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's about uh, 6 a.m. and uh, there is something burning in my heart right now. And I have to get it off my heart. And I have to share it with his people. I'm seeing this narrative. And it's, and it's got me so troubled right now. It's got me so troubled because I see so many people. I, I, I watch Christians, quote unquote, the, the people who, who follow the Lord, who follow God, who are being deceived in a mass, mass following in a movement. Folks, <laughs> Satan, since the Garden of Eden, has been going about deceiving. That's what he does. All through the ages, there's a scripture in Ezekiel I read the other day, there's nothing new under, under the sun. Satan has a, an agenda and he continues to repeat it over and over and over. Now what is burning me up this morning, and I was, you know, I read, you know, Ezekiel, or Jeremiah 20, verse, I'm going to read this first, and I'm going to share my heart. Verse 9, then I said, I will not make mention of him. This is Jeremiah, who, who's being persecuted for standing for the word of God, as I have dealt with him my own walk with God. At a point where Jeremiah is just discouraged, and he's just like, you know what, I'm done. I, I can't, I'm done. Where, where are you at, God? Did you, he says right one place in scripture, God, did you, did you deceive me? That's how he felt. You know, you've given me this message, he, and God gave him a message. The Bible says in verse 1, Pashar, the son of Emar, the priest, he gave him a message against the church. And he said, he, and the Bible says that Pashar was the governor in the house of the Lord, but then Jeremiah prophesied against it. So you, you got, it's, very, it's a very hard road that I'm on, and there's very few who follow that road. I watch. I, I I look at all these ministries and all these YouTubers and all these preachers and their online presence and their Facebook ministry and their YouTube ministry and all these things, folks. There's a spirit. That's the focus. Bold letters print. This, there's a spirit behind everything that's going on, and there's a spirit of deception. Okay. It's a spirit of deception. There's a guy called, I think it's Nicholson, 1968. He's been around for years. Massive following. And I was watching uh, some of his stuff this morning. And a guy named Days of Noah and, and a guy named RFB. And I, and I watched some. And they have a lot of good stuff. But they're off. They're, they're, they're off. It, see, the thing is, it's 99.9%. .9%. Satan, will, Satan will let you believe 99.9% .9 .9 and fool you one part of it, and then, and then you're it's a deception, and you're deceived. Their whole focus is, as Nicholson 9, 1968 talks about, the clay and the, and the iron and the clay. His whole emphasis on, well, you know what, the devil, the mark of the beast, and the devil's focus is going to be, is changing your DNA. Sounds good. Get your mind, yeah, vaccine, that's what it does. Okay, yeah, boy, that that's that is the mark of the beast. Oh boy, there's a spirit. Please listen to me. This stuff burns in my heart this morning, folks. It's the, the Satan has been marking since the Garden of Eden. Go read your Bible, Genesis chapter four. God put a mark upon Cain, and then from from that time he was marked. Then he was pushed away from the presence of the Lord. It's spiritual. It always has been. It's been religion. It's the church. It's the image. Period. It was, it was, if, folks, if Satan has to, to create a vaccine to change your DNA to take the mark of the beast, then what, what happened when Jesus walked the earth? What happened throughout all the ages from Genesis to the prophet Isaiah, the prophet Jeremiah, the prophet Malachi, the, the apostle Paul, the every, every man of God who's preached the same gospel under the spirit, catch the spirit. The spirit of truth, the spirit of the, the Holy Spirit, catching the spirit of God and seeing the same things going over and over, repeating themselves. 
But you got people that are so fo oh, caught up in all these other things. Did, did, did Satan send out a vaccine in the days of Jesus to change the DNA of the people so they wouldn't receive the message of the Messiah? No, it was spiritual. People gave up their mind and their authority to that, to that movement. To rejecting Christ, it's a spiritual decision. It's always been that way. It's not a vaccine. That vaccine, this virus, is God's judgment. That's it. And people don't want to just repent and run to the Word of God and receive the Spirit, the correct Holy Spirit of truth. They want to divert you this direction, that direction, all these things to make people think and believe that that's the mark of the beast. People, oh, you know, I won't take the jab. Oh, I'm going to go on the rapture. I won't take the vaccine. I won't wear a mask. All those things are part of the spirit of the beast system. Yes, but it's not your mark. It's not your mark. Oh, they ain't putting that jab in me to change my DNA. Yes, it does affect your DNA. But it's a spiritual decision. And, and, and these people that call yourself Christians who go to church, you're under that spell of that spirit of Antichrist, the image. And that's why you'll take the vaccine. That's why you're taking these things and, and God's judgment's upon it. My heart burns within me this morning. It's like a burning fire in my bones. Amen. This is the Spirit of God. There's a, there's a man right here crying out, trying to wake people up. I wake up this morning, and God is just stirring my heart, stirring my heart, stirring my heart. And there's all these massive followings, folks. That's deception. There's this guy called Watchman Adam who's got his little soft approach of the gospel. Joel, the Joel Osteen approach. They'll bring 99.9% .9 truth, but they won't bring the full Spirit of God through that truth. Amen? Go look at your Bible. Go for the book of Genesis and Revelation. The Spirit of God continues to cry out the same way all the time. Judgment, conviction, repentance, mercy, yes, grace. But these movements are just trying to bring a power, a just a gracious, soft, watered-down approach of the gospel. It's the Spirit behind it. That's the emphasis this morning as God is dealing with me. Is you, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, that's your only way to discern. Oh, to be able to discern the spirit behind it, the things, these messages that people bring. And they bring truth. They, all these YouTube channels that are just, they just grow like, like fire. That's a, that right there should show you, wake you up. To see what God, to see it's a lie, it's a spirit behind it. And Satan is so smart, folks. He's smarter than you. I read this morning, I believe it was Zechariah. I was all over the place this morning in Scripture. It says the Lord rebuked thee, Satan. We're no match for the devil, bro, folks. You are no match. You can intellectuous, you can go study every conspiracy theory. You can try to figure everything out and got this figured out. Oh boy, I ain't taking the mark. I ain't taking that vaccine. And you think that's what it is. The devil has got you fooled. The only way you can understand the mind of God is by having the Holy Ghost. Amen. And salvation, yes, it comes through the blood of Jesus Christ. It comes through the cross. That's it. It's a free gift. Trust me, it is. It's a free gift. But our Lord Jesus had to suffer to be baptized by John the Baptist. John the Baptist then found disciples who had been baptized into John's baptism and were commanded to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Suffer to be so. You, you, we have to eat the whole book. We got to eat the whole book. But those who got the Holy Ghost, they want to eat the whole book. They want this word with all their hearts. They catch the mind of their Savior, their bridegroom. Amen? They, they understand it's grace, but they want all of Him. Because grace, oh, praise God, the cross opened that door up that we could receive all that who He is and all of His truth. That he could sanctify us and fill us with his spirit and his life. Amen. That we will take on his mind. Hallelujah. And we could have the spirit of God to see through all these false spirits and false teachings. That come right through all these channels and these churches and your image into the beast. Why am I crying out against it? Because I'm coming against a spirit. It's a spirit. And it burns in my bones this morning. May God bless you. May God speak to you. This stuff burns in my heart, folks. You're following a false narrative. I'm telling you right now. 
I'm telling you, it's been spiritual all the way through the ages. So people, it, it, Satan has created such a deception because it's God's judgment. This vaccine and what it's doing to lives is people that are taking it because they don't have the Holy Ghost to trust God. Amen. These things are upon this land because God, God is judging it all. There's a foolish and a wise virgin, folks. Jesus talked about it. And the wise virgin has the oil in their lamps and they escape the tribulation while the foolish virgin goes right along with it and believes these agendas and gets caught up with all these other spirits, runs to her church, runs to her soft, soft little YouTube channel preachers, amen, and just gets fed that spirit. It's the spirit and they'll bring truth, but the spirit of God is not speaking through it. That's the difference, amen. Look at Jeremiah. Pashkar, the, the chief governor of the house of the Lord. He was the man of the hour. He was the great leader. He had probably the greatest YouTube channel that day. Amen. The biggest church. He was opening churches all over the place. Amen. And God says one man, Jeremiah the prophet, to prophesy against it. Thus saith the Lord. Amen. Because that man wasn't catching the mind of God, but the prophet had the word of the Lord. Amen. And those who, who, are, who got the Holy Ghost who are God's children, catch the heart of God and hear the voice of God and understand the mind of God. Amen? They receive that message because the Holy Ghost speaks through that message to them. And why do you think the internet is saturated? Saturated attacking the ministry of William Marion Branham. Why? Because God sent a prophet. God fulfilled his scripture during that time period and sent him to, to, bring, to get us back to the original faith. Back to the faith of the fathers, amen. Preaching the same the divine healing, the miracles of God. Believing that by his stripes we are healed, amen. Preaching that same bloody gospel to repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Genesis and Revelation, the complete word of God, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Oh, this fire burns in my bones. Hallelujah. Amen. That's all that was on my heart. You're being deceived. You're being deceived. People, you want to think that you're going to be able to do something to keep yourself from taking the mark, and you've already took it. It's always been spiritual. Folks, we are spiritual beings. We are created in the image of God. We are spiritual. We have a conscience. We have, we have the ability to make decisions. We have a soul. We, we have a spirit of reasoning and, and, and all these different things are part of what we are. It's a spiritual decision that you make to, 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 to receive and follow. And it's so close. It deceives the very elect if it were possible. So close. Those who have the Holy Ghost are able to hear what the author is saying in this book. They have the author of the book living in their soul. They can catch the mind of God for their moment and what God is saying to the churches. Your image unto the beast. Rome, Catholicism, as I've teached it over and over and over, it's all religion. And these other channels, they, 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 bring, they bring the image. They're churchgoers. They confess Christ, and that's what makes it so deceiving. But then God sends a prophet along to shake it up, to cry out against it, and, and to give to the people what is the mind of God. 99.9% .9 of your churches, most all of them are preaching false teaching. You know, I was... Grace Fellowship there and was it Wabash, Indiana? Listen to that guy preach the other day. Preaching that soft little gospel. Baptizing his people in the title of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, which is a which is a doctrine straight from the pits of hell from Rome. When the apostles in the first church preached the, preach the very gospel that I preach. The same thing, because it's the same Spirit of God. These things are important, folks. Amen. And it's only because of the grace of God and because of Calvary and the, and the cross that I can see this and you can see this, folks. 
It's grace. It's the grace of God that the Holy Spirit has revealed His Word to me. And I want to share something to you. I've shared with you guys a, 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 my, my message called Haunted by the Past. My own personal struggle of my past that a sibling wants to turn around and try to use against you. Something happened a couple of days ago and I shared it with a brother. Brother Chris, I tested him. I was just talking to him on the phone about it. And man, I was praising the Lord in my garage. I was lifting my hands in the air. A temptation that presented itself. And I saw there was something in me that was, it's, I'm so dead to the world, man. God is doing, God, it's again, and I know it's it's not me. It's it's not me. I, I know my, I'm a sinner, man. I'm a sinner. I'm the chief of sinners, and I know that. But the grace of God is greater than I. And the cross of Christ lives in me. And by his grace, I overcome. And by his grace, if, if I overcome again today or tomorrow or a week from now or a month from now or a year from now, it'll only be the grace of God. It's as so such with you. And it's only by the grace of God that you can see the truth through all the deception. Stay with this bloody word bride of Christ. Love him above it all. Amen. Don't get caught up in these things. Again, the vaccine and this these viruses, all these things that are going on, all the all the storms that are hitting our country, all these things are the judgment of God. It ain't climate change. It ain't the mark of the beast. Folks, you're you're going right into deception. You're thinking you're oh I'm not oh no you're going right into it. It's spiritual. Satan using his ministers and they're just war running your mind rampant with so much truth, but the spirit behind it. You got to catch the spirit. The Bible says, believe not every, what's it say? Spirit. But test the spirits. So it can be bringing truth, but, the, but you got to try the spirit behind it. If it brings a spirit of it's just a soft, always a soft, easy gospel, or it's a spirit of, of, of like this 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 uh, guy in Tennessee that I that I Greg Locke, as I was the Lord was dealing with this morning, I was looking at different scriptures in the book of Titus, and what this man's about and what he's a doing. You catch the spirit. You catch the spirit. The Holy Spirit only allows you to catch the spirit. That's why it's so deceiving, because the devil preaches the gospel, folks. He's got his ministers. And he, he knows, he's this, the Satan is so slick, folks. He's smarter than you. He studies you. He works on your emotions. He hits certain nerves in your, in your carnality flesh. And, and, and Mr., Mr., this Greg Locke hitting the, hitting the emotion of the conservative Trump supporters, creating a false narrative, a false, narr a false gospel, while he preaches that same Trinity water baptism straight from Rome, the beast. But people is in, in thousands, millions follow that movement. That's the mark of the beast, and you took it. You've already been marked. You've gone for the presence of the Lord, which is this Holy Ghost word. Amen. Hallelujah. It's separation time, brothers and sisters. It's separation time. And the Holy Spirit is separating the wheat from the chaff. Amen. He's coming for a pure word bride. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. A fire burns in my bones. Three or four days ago, folks, you who lost, watched my ministry, I preached that message, the mark of the beast and persecution. I didn't even want to preach anymore. I was done. I was done. What's that tell you? He who's great, greater than he that is in me than he that is in this world, in the church, in that religious spirit, persecution spirit. Amen? But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to read this to you last. I was reading this morning in Acts. I'm on that road to Jerusalem, right to Rome. I'm on that road, coming against the church, amen, and the, and the mark of the beast in its image, amen. And I'm going to read this to you last. And folks, if you took that vaccine, because you, 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 you already took the mark by, your, by holding on to your church, and you fall right into that deception, repent. Repent now. Hear the voice of, hear the Holy Spirit. Catch the mind of God. Acts 28, in verse, uh, where's it at here? I saw it this morning and it gave me encouragement. The Apostle Paul, give me a second here. Yeah, let's get 
to and how everyone has spoken and testified the king. Oh, here we go. Verse 24. I'm on that road. God's true elect is on that road. You keep preaching that true word. You catch the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes through that word. Satan can bring the truth, folks. He quoted the scripture right to our Lord Jesus Christ. He quoted it, but there was a spirit behind it. And the Holy Spirit came, caught the spirit behind it and came against the spirit with the word to defeat it. Amen. Acts 28, 24. And some believe the things that were spoken. And some believed not. And so be it. I am sent to continue to preach that gospel, knowing it's going to continue to expose and judge. And to those who who are to who God has given my is, is, is committed a dispensation of this gospel. Amen. They'll believe it. They'll see it. They'll receive the truth. Amen. They'll roll flee that that mark of the beast church system. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. They'll hear the mind of God. They'll catch it. They'll get the revelation. Amen. It's the same thing the Apostle Paul warned about thousands of years ago. It's the same message that God sent a prophet, Malachi 4, 5, and 6, preaching the same thing. It's the same Holy Ghost that just keeps preaching that same message. The spirit of Nicolaitism, the spirit of Antichrist that's been going on since the Garden of Eden, folks. Your mark of the beast. Catch the spirit. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. Whether they are of God. God bless you. And have a blessed day.